What's up everybody, this is General Spear here, and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 The Clone Wars. How y'all doing today? How I... Hem, 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 can't talk today apparently. I hope you are all having a good afternoon, good morning, good evening, and I got a very special announcement before we start the episode. I have posted some new listings on my Etsy shop. There will be links down there in the description below. Uh, it has to do with studies I've done of... Uh, Captain Rex, Robert Downey Jr., and Master Yoda. So be sure to check that out. They are for sale. It is only one thing per uh, listing. So yeah, it's basically you know you'll you you buy it, you own it, and there's nothing else like it kind of thing. They are studies off of photographs. So yeah, that should be fun. So, we have a re retaliation mission coming up, but it's a very difficult mission, and we have a chance to nab the Codex in here, since there are Chrysalids, Codexes, Elite Troopers, Elite Lancers, Gatekeeper, and Elite Shield Bearer. It's actually not a bad setup. Um, there's Imagine nine we'll total enemies. Yeah, I got progress. that. Thank you. I got it. Objective. Thank you, Bradford. Alright. So... What, who are we going to take out? This is going to be the real question because... Uh, oh, Fixer is available. Good. And Gregor. Whew. I was really worried there. Um, so, Wolf is out. Heavy is out. Bakura is still here, luckily. Um, so, we can take everybody from Delta Squad except for Scorch, which I guess that's okay. Um... It is a very difficult mission, though, so probably nobody below Captain would be ideal. Um, probably definitely a few Colonels. Uh, we'll probably take out Fives and Rex, uh, just to keep the, the momentum on, on, you know, alive and everything. I'm debating on who I want to take out, either Gregor or Fixer. We probably don't need um, both, but we do need at least one. Um... And if anything, I would think Gregor might be the better choice. Because uh, his hacking is better overall. And we'll need him to get um, the codex, basically. So we're going to bring out Gregor instead. So Fives, um, Rex, Gregor. And then I think we'll put in Jesse just to have our PSYOP. Uh, I would bring in General, but he's got three days remaining on his uh, training, unfortunately. Uh, we will bring in uh, Rookie, give him some XP, and Bakura, I think we'll do. And then lastly, you know what, just in case, let's do Boss, and... Sev or Boba? I think of the two, I'd rather do Sev. Um, as much as I would like to get Boba Fett up, I think Sev might be the better choice this particular mission. So we got Fives ready to go. He's fine. Uh, Rex will take uh, the AP rounds. And we'll give, instead for fives, we'll give him probably, um, let's do Talon rounds for, uh, for fives. Gregor will give him the Skulljack, since he does have the better, um, uh, hacking ability overall. And then we'll also give him... Uh, let's give him the dragon rounds. Jeski will give her the let's do t uh, tracer rounds with her. Rookie will give him the blue screen rounds, and then we'll give him an EMP grenade, and then we'll do. We'll do an incendiary grenade with him. Bakara will also do blue screen. Uh, and then we'll give him 
a gas grenade. And then I think we'll do another EMP just to be safe. Or actually, you know what? What might be better is we give him a flashbang. Because I have a feeling we're going to need it. Boss will give him... Um, also flashbang. And then we'll give him... Uh, I think a Mimic Beacon would be really, really nice to have. And then, you know what, actually, now that I think about it, uh, Jesse might have, might be better to have the Mimic Beacon. And then Sev will give him, uh, Tracer Rounds. And then we'll give him, you know, let's do a Mind Shield for Sev. And I'm almost thinking as well for uh, fives, it might be better for him to get a mind shield as well, just so we don't have our snipers going, you know, a wall on us, so to speak. And then Rex, I'm actually gonna switch out this grenade for a med kit, and Gregor, I'm gonna switch it out for a med kit as well, just so we have those on hand in case. Um, I think that's probably a better setup overall. Um, so we've got the Skulljack on Gregor, and here's our lineup. Fives, Rex, Gregor, Jesse, Jesse uh, Rookie, Bakara, Boss, and Sev. I like it. Let's go. <laughs> so like I said before, be sure to check out the links in, links in the description below. They are for sale, and uh, they're pretty fantastic pieces of work, so be sure to check them out. just came down. The aliens have amassed a huge force to strike one of the resistance outposts nearby, and those people desperately need any help we can provide them. We're going in to eliminate the enemy threat and secure the area. Sounds good to me. So, Operation Blood Steed is the, uh, the thing here in Independence Valley, New India. Uh, neutralize all enemy forces and rescue at least six civilians. Sounds like we can do that. I hope we can do that. Um, yeah, should be really, really interesting. Do 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 do. Going in right now. There he goes with the whole weird lag thing again. Menace one five. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot, and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Okay, so we got to be extra careful. There are chrysalids around, so that is one thing we need to be um, looking out for. And the thing, I think the first thing I'm going to do is bring Rex down here. Yes, sir. Since we do have concealment with him, get the civilian. Hopefully, Move. Move. there we go. Okay, there are the chrysalids. They don't currently see Rex. And I think what we're gonna do... Ooh... You know what? This might be worth using cereal right now. But what I'm gonna first do is get everybody into a better position. Sir. For when they do come this way. Sir, yes, sir. Um... Is, Jess, is Jessie in cover there? Yes, she is. So, we'll do that. Roger that, sir. Nothing deadlier than a clone behind the So, tree. this way... And just so we can be safe... Keep coming. Let's open it up with, uh... With fives here. We might not even need cereal, but... We'll try it. Okay. There's one down. Down and out. Sev better get a promotion here. Okay, okay, we got this. Come on, rookie. Missed. Of course. Nice job, Jesse. All right. So that's one group of chrysalids gone. 
We're gonna go ahead and get... Move way. up here with Boss. And I think with Gregor, it's we'll move down to right here. And overwatch with him. There's something happening over there. There's a codex. What? Rob Robertson was killed. Uh oh. <laughs> What's happening? Okay, nothing's happening. Uh. We'll move Rex up this way. I'm more than confident that we will uh, do some really good stuff. Okay, boss is going up and over. Escort target. Okay. I'm really worried that one of these is going to be a faceless, but I think we're going to be okay. Let's one shot, overwatch one there. Uh, we're going to get the other people into position. I'm going to move Jesse right up to this way. Rookie is going to go to kind of in the same area. Fives. We'll move him over to here. And Bakura will move right up to here. And Sev will also move in this direction over this way next to uh, Fives. Keep her snipers in kind of uh, close proximity. I'm surprised Sev didn't earn a promotion, but oh well. And then we'll move Gregor right up next to Rex. Excuse me as I burp into the mic. Okay, there's the codex. Jessica Edwards was killed. The ideal opportunity to infiltrate the advent network. We will need to move in with the skull okay. to initiate the process. So let's do this. Let's get in close with boss here. Hopefully we won't be spotted. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That is the worst possible time for that to happen right now. Stand back down to that is the worst possible time. Okay, what I need to do, and I can't... <sighs> and I can't fire on the Codex. The Codex, like, needs to survive. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring Rex into this fight. Possibly kill him. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Okay. We have we have some possibilities here. I think what I'm going to do. Can I see? I can see some people Understood, with rookie sir. here. Now my question is, can I launch? <gasps> it does hit, but only those guys. Let's look at our other options. Fives, I can hit this guy right now. What will Lightning Hands do? Lightning Hands will ki probably kill this guy. Let's do that. Are you kidding me? Well, okay. I'd rather take care of the Lancer first if we can, though. There we go. Good enough. It is good enough. Okay. So, I'm really worried about this faceless now. Uh, let's see what we can do with Sev here. Let's do lightning hands on the faceless. Nicely done. Target's eradicated. And then, we don't have great odds on the Elite Trooper, but let's try it at least. Oh-ho-ho! Ho. Score one for our 
side. Indeed, death from above. We will do. We will do hunker down because I don't want to hit the codex right now. Um. One possibility that we could do. Is we can draw the codex in. Let's provide. Let's do this. Let's provide a protocol for um, boss. It's not wise, but let's do that. And then I think what we'll do with Jesse is we'll throw down one of the mimic beacons to draw in the codex. And. We'll go from there. Because we need to get the Codex into a place where... Um, he, it can be skulljacked by Gregor. One shot, one kill. Okay, there's the Gatekeeper. Ouch. That hurts. That hurts quite a bit. Okay, here's the, the codex. Okay. The the Bimic Beacon's done its job. Okay. Now we can hit skulljack this thing now. That's a little weird, but we'll take it. Alright. You know what? We might as well go for broke, because this is a 100% chance. Let's go ahead and get the, try the large intel of cash. Alright. So we got that now. Ah, uh, and here is the avatar. Not... Nice. Commander, I believe we are seeing something entirely new. An alien species okay. that has so far managed to elude capture or observation by resistance forces. I strongly advise So let's try approach. Yeah, I I I got you. I got you, Tygen. Okay, landed a crit on that. The guy's going to move. Come on, boss. You can do it. Oh, no way! We got it! Beautiful! I thought that was going to be a lot harder than, uh, than perceived. I thought that was going to be extremely difficult. Okay, so now it's just going to be a matter of trying to get all the civilians that we can rescued. And uh, cleaning up the, uh, the process. Bakarugo, we're going to move right up to here to get him into the fight. We'll reload with Sev and do long watch. If we can. We should be able to. Ready to engage. And Rex will move right up to here. I can't believe we took that thing down as easily as we did. And... Yep, somebody else is dead. <sighs> Incredible. I thought that was going to be a much harder fight, but apparently not. Roger that, sir. Prepare to engage. Alright. So they are going to come out now. It looks like. But that's good, because then they'll, we'll, they'll be focused on us rather than the civilians. All right. So, a few options here. Let's see if we can get this guy, the shield bearer. Or we might do rapid fire. 248s. We can try that. Missed. All right, we got him. I'll take that. Target eliminated, General. 
All right, he is implacable right now. Um, we'll move into right here to full cover. Uh, Jesse, I'm gonna put up here. Let's see here. The question is, can I reach with the incendiary bomb, uh, grenade? No, I cannot. Um, if I free reload with fives, I'd rather give Sev the kill if I can. That's a pretty tough shot, but we've seen really obscure shot uh, percentages and st still have made it, but let's try it. Might as well. Oh, wow. Wow. Taken care of. Sev is just like... He's on it. it. He is on it, the ball game today. Understood, General. Um, let's long watch with fives. Bakura, let's oh, move up to some. the car. With pleasure. And uh, let's... You know what? And hopefully the thing can see this. You know what? I'm going to wait on the Mimic Beacon. Let's just overwatch. And... Oh, where do we put Gregor? Gregor, I guess, will go right here so he can provide covering fire. Right away, sir. Is it going to come out to play? Uh, apparently not. Oh, no it is! It's coming, to co coming out to play. Missed. Missed. Come on, boss, you're better than that. Oh, rookie, seriously? We've got a big problem. Yeah, we do have a big problem. Alright, come on, Rex, you gotta nail this. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let's let's do this first. Let's, uh, you know what? Actually, let's do an EMP grenade and, you know, take down some of the damage there. Maybe we'll shut it down some, too. Um. Okay. I was expecting a bigger blast, but okay. Um, Jesse, hmm. Let's see, boss, can we take down some of this guy's armor, hopefully? Are you kidding me? Wow. That was really impressive by boss. Like, no joke. All right, we get a long watch with Seth. I'll take your lead, sir. Um, I'm not wild about that faceless. I, I'll be honest. Let's run and gun. Contact. Right away, General. Get up to here. Get some of this stuff. Ooh, some really nice stuff. Superior agility, superior perception, hair trigger, advanced stock, some really nice stuff. I'm glad we picked that up. And now let's see if we can take this thing out. Are you kidding me? We have the worst time with facelessness right now. Ugh. You know what I kind of want to do? Can we see the faceless at all from here? We can't. Yeah, we can. What I'm going to do is do that. Give. Inspire. Oops. Back one. To Bakara. I give you strength.
And then... Bakra, can we take this thing down? I hope we can. Yes! Another promotion, maybe? Wow. We did that crazily well. And it was a flawless mission, too. Dude! We're good at this game! I know we're probably gonna up the difficulty for, um... The next playthrough we do, uh, to probably commander level. Um, not legendary. We don't want to do that. I don't want to do that quite yet. I think I'm gonna do three things of, uh, XCOM 2. Um, but, um, yeah, we... <laughs> I was shocked at that mission. Like, genuinely shocked as to how easy that was. Um... I mean, and it could be, it could be that, like, we're just, we just have that good of guys, but I don't know. I don't know. That was an amazing kill with boss, though. Like, I was, I was half expected to nail it and half expecting to be, like, completely miss it or maybe do, like, two damage or something like that. I don't know. Well, he doesn't have a stock, so he would completely miss, um... <laughs> But, um, I was completely, you know, I, I was more banking on boss and missing that shot versus actually hitting him. Um, and then he just nails it, like, right off the bat. So I'm like, okay, we'll take it. <laughs> and this is on the avatar, that is. Um, which is pretty awesome. So we're back at base now. I can't imagine the aliens are too happy about this one, Commander. Hell of a job. Sounds good to me. Yeah, look at that. Flawless. Although I firmly believe the specimen we have recovered is crucial to the aliens' efforts, we currently do not have the means of properly studying. No, not really. So yeah, look at all this loot, though. Uh, advanced stock, superior hair trigger, superior perception, superior agility. I'm glad we got this stuff. And then we have the Codex Brain, Crystal Corpse, Stun Lancer, Faceless, uh, Advent Corpse, Advent, uh, Shield Bearer Corpse, and the Gatekeeper Shell. And then, of course, the Avatar Corpse. Freaking amazing. Alright. Another impressive effort, Commander. Look at My that. expectations were high, and yet you have exceeded them. Wonderful, yeah. Killed Avatar, reduced Avatar progress by three. Monthly supply rewards across Asia increase income plus 58 supplies. That is just insane. Like, I, I, yeah, it's... Okay. It's it's absolutely insane. Um, let's choose a new project now that we got stuff right now. Let's do some ammo, venom rounds, and maybe a grenade. Gas grenade. And no Illyrium cores again. <laughs> That's so bad. It's terrible, man. Okay. So it's going to get reduced to three points again. But we're killing it. We are killing it on this series. may be a critical piece of the Avatar project, Commander. Your efforts are to be commended. Alright, assorted loot, we don't need to investigate that at the moment. Uh, let's go back to region income here. And, uh, yeah, we're absolutely killing it on this. Oh, here we go. Just like the one we found the commander in. On the surface, yes. But in function. Ah, commander, excellent. We can begin. It is no secret that Advent soldiers possess both human and alien genetic characteristics. Preliminary analysis led me to believe that this was the result of direct modifications made to a pre-existing human host. Prisoners, or perhaps even unwitting volunteers. See your local Advent recruiter today. However, hm. the reality is something else entirely. The Advent troopers at the facility we discovered, including the specimen before you, were manufactured. Ooh. Each soldier possesses a unique genetic code. Predominantly human, of course, 
but with some fragments left open. Left open for what? Whatever alien DNA Advent wishes to insert. Sectoid. Muton. Even the species our soldiers refer to as Berserker. In all cases, human genetic material serves as a bonding agent, holding the strands together. Human material? You mean the stuff we found at the Black Side facility? Precisely. The key component in their soldier manufacturing process. So we've been fighting ourselves this entire time? In a way. But I believe there's more to it than that. The human DNA in this specimen bears one key difference from the entirety of the sequences decoded in the shadow chamber. Psionic sensitivity. Given the sheer volume of strands involved, this cannot be accidental. Screen hmm. process at the clinics. Avatar. The potential power of a being created with this template is significant. Central. Had we not intercepted it before the process was completed... I know, Doctor. Continue your research. Let us know if you find anything else. So yeah, that's really interesting, uh, given what's happening with the Stasis suit. Because, you know, in a way, what uh, they've done is that... What the company has done is, basically for the next XCOM video, it's really just, you know, the aliens taking humans and turning them into, you know, aliens themselves, and thus we're fighting ourselves kind of thing. Um... All that are sh okay, so there's more shadow projects to do. Interesting. Um, it, it's just a really interesting concept to uh, to work out and figure out and whatnot. So, um, yeah, we're gonna continue on for just a little bit more here. Jeski's training is complete here. Let's do. Ooh, let's do schism. That will enhance our um, our insanity trait. Uh oh. The Avatar project is building back up a little bit again. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. Yeah, I know we're we're working on it, okay? General Spear is back in a day. He is done. View Soldier. He is now all decked out. Lead by example. He is the supreme leader of the, the forces. Which is pretty awesome. You know what he needs, though? He needs a weapon upgrade. I think what he should get... A free re reloads. And we'll do... You know what I almost want to do? I kind of want to give him the hair trigger. Wonderful. And then weapon pattern. Ooh, I like that. Color. Let's give it a bright color. Oh, look at that. It fits me. <laughs> Alright, so let's finish this out here. Nice. Can always use more more income and whatnot. So we have let's see. I think we have we have a few towers we can build. Um let's Let's do this. Let's build a tower over here in eastern US and get that going. Kind of just get everything all situated. I don't know if there's an achievement for this, but we might as well try. And Jesse is back from her training. Let's continue the training here. Let's do Soul Steel. I think Fuse is the last thing before she is all decked out and is the, the supreme psyops person. Oh! Review target. <laughs> okay. So what have we got? East Asia, destroy the alien relay, Operation Blood Valley. It is a difficult mission with 229 supplies on the line. Counters the dark event of alien inf infiltrator, places hidden faceless aliens on each mission. Okay. Do India has... Okay, and that one had eight enemies. New India, six enemies. Uh, moderate difficulty, we get another engineer. 
uh, Operation Shadow Strike. Uh, recover I an item from the Advent Train, moderate difficulty, encounters a hidden event. We'll out unlock that in a moment. In Eastern U.S. is this. It is Operation Lazy Fog. <laughs> Where do they come up with the names for this? Protect the device, difficulty is difficult, and we get a scientist out of it, and it encounters the dark event of al Advent Alloy Padding gets Advent Extra Armor Excuse me, Advent Units, Extra Armor, and there's eight units total. Let's figure out what this Dark Event is, shall we? Oh, I kind of want to do this, though. I really, uh, I want to be, f t f I want to be nabbed by a UFO just so we can test out the the, the turrets and whatnot. I'm gonna ignore that for right now. I think, if anything. I'm not wild about the faceless, but extra armor for a month? That can be really... I mean, depending on the enemy, that could be really problematic. Um, especially if it's like a sectoid or something like that. I mean, not that it's been a real big problem, but... You know, it can be. It can be in certain situations. So I think we're going to go Eastern US um, and do this. It is a Nodromedon, Codex, Heavy Mech, Sectopod, Elite Lancer, and Elite Trooper. I think we can do it. I think we absolutely can do it. So, wait, did we already go over there? No, we didn't go over there, did we? Oh yeah, we're already over here. What the heck? Okay. Excellent. So, let's get this all set up then. So, let's get let's take General out cuz you know, that's what we do. We want the extra stuff. He doesn't really need anything. We'll probably just give him a mind shield. Um, <laughs> like we do. We'll put in our PSYOP. Uh, Miss Jessie. She's got a Mimic Beacon. That's okay. And then, who else do we want to bring? This is a difficult mission, I think it is. So, we could play around with a few of our lower guys. Um... You know who we haven't played with in a while? We'll put in... I almost... Here's the thing. We're getting to the point where we're going to have more difficult missions. I want to bring in as many as our, our top guys as possible. As much as I want to bring in these lower tier guys, I think it makes more sense just to go with this. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bring in Wolf and Bakra as our Grenaders. Uh, we'll give Wolf uh, some blue screen rounds, and we'll give him an EMP, and let's do a, let's do an acid grenade, just so we can shred armor, or more armor, basically. Um, and then I think we'll bring out uh, Delta Squad, um, is what we do. We need to get these guys up and rolling. You know, Fixer, Boss, Scorch, and Sev. I think we can do that. And let's handle the gear a little bit differently. We'll give uh, Fixer... Let's do, uh, let's do Tracer Rounds, actually. And then with him, I guess what we'll do... Let's do a Flashbang, I think would be a good idea. Uh, boss has that. Well, he's also got a flashbang. That's fine. Sev is fine with that. I think I'm gonna do. Yeah, that's fine actually. And then Scorch. Let's give him dragon rounds. I feel like that's destructive enough for him. So yeah, this is going to be our, our layout for the next mission. General, Jesse, Wolf, Bakura, Fixer, Scorch, Boss, and Sev. Hulk smash that like button, guys. Comment in the comment section. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And also, don't forget to check out the Etsy listings in the links below. And as always, may the Force be ever in your favor.